Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. In this week's video, I'm going to talk about using tables to drive an eye feature. Now in last week's video, I showed how you could drive an eye feature by entering different inputs into its parameters. But you could get several combinations, as a matter of fact, even infinite combinations. So what do you do if you want to have some very tightly managed variations for your eye feature? You manage it with a table, that's how you do it. So let's go ahead and create this table. I'm going to go ahead and open up the eye feature that I created in my last video. Now this eye feature had several different combinations, but now we're going to tighten them up a little bit. So once the eye feature is open, I'll go to the eye feature author table. And we can see that the center hole diameter doesn't change, but the mount hole did change, and that's what inventors picked up from the list we previously had. So let's go ahead and tighten up these controls a little more. I'm going to go to the other tab, click to add a value, and I'm going to call it tool number. So for example, each one of these might be created by a given tool we keep in our inventory. Now I'll go ahead and enter the values I want for a given tool number. So we'll go ahead and let the center hole be one inch, and maybe one and a quarter inch, and one and a half inch for the center hole. The mount holes I'll leave alone, and the tool number I'm gonna call them 001, 002, and 003. The last thing I'll do to my tool number is right click on the header and give it a key of one. That just tells Inventor this is the field I'm going to use to select the tool. Now I'll go ahead and save that eye feature and close it. And now I can switch to this door for example where I might put this mount hole. Go to the manage tab, insert eye feature, and I can place this mount hole in. I'll go ahead and get it positioned. Choose next, and here's my tool number, and I can go ahead and make any changes or select the one that I want. I'll select 001 and place that one in here. And for comparison, I'll insert a second one. And this time, I'll choose 003. And I'll place that one right under the previous one you can see the difference between the two. And that just shows how we're selecting them now by that fictitious tool number instead of having to remember which numbers to plug in each time. So that's it for this video. We'll see you next time and have a great week.